Hello, I'm in here, in this big white fluffy cloud. I'm Flo, a water droplet, and I'm in here with all my friends. Hold on, you can't see me at the minute. I'll just pop out. There, that's better. I can see you now too. There are so many droplets like me in this cloud. Millions of us, all waiting until it's time for us to turn into rain. Or sometimes snow or hail. Ooh, that's when we fall down to the ground. Being in a cloud is all part of something called the water cycle. The water cycle never ever stops. It's an adventure that goes round and round and round and round and... Oh, I got a bit dizzy there. Would you like to know more about the water cycle? Brilliant. Let's find out together. Down I go. Whee! This is my favourite bit. Splash! We're now in a reservoir called Silent Valley, right here in Northern Ireland. It's like a huge lake, isn't it? Northern Ireland water has 23 reservoirs just like this all over the country. Places like these supply all the water in your house. This one provides water for 40,000 people. That's why it's so big. Water can also come from rivers, streams and locks. Look over here. The reservoir has a special kind of wall called a dam that keeps the water in. The reservoir also lets water flow back out through a huge underground pipe. That pipe takes the water to be cleaned and then it turns into lots of little pipes and they take the water to all sorts of different places, like your house. This network of pipes is massive. There's 26,700 kilometers of pipes. That's so big that all the pipes joined together could stretch more than halfway around the world. The water from the reservoir isn't ready to go to your house just yet. So I'm on my way along this long water pipe to a water treatment works. There are a few of them in Northern Ireland. This one is Drummer Road in County Down. Now, this is a very important part of the water cycle. What happens here is, water gets washed. Okay, not washed, but cleaned. That's because along the way, from the cloud and down to the reservoir, droplets like me can pick up little germs, bugs and bacteria that mean we're not ready for you to drink yet. So we're all off to get filtered and cleaned. Ah, there, that's better. Okay, follow me. We're going to a house like yours. Finally, I'm in a pipe inside a house along with lots of my friends, ready to be used in all sorts of different ways. Can you think of some ways you use water at home? So let's see, we've got drinking, washing, cooking, water in the garden, and flushing the toilet. Yes, they're all important uses for water in every house, every day. But did you know that water is also really good for you? Your body and your brain need water to work properly, so you can play, do your homework, and stay healthy. In fact, your body is three quarters water, and you need about six glasses of water a day. It's a thing called hydration. If you get enough water, you're hydrated. If you don't get enough water, you're dehydrated. How good are you at drinking water and staying hydrated? Although the world has lots of water, it's still important to look after it, because water is precious. Everyone in the world needs water, and the number of people in the world keeps getting bigger every year, so they all need to share it too. There is also something called climate change, which changes our weather and might mean we have less rain to fill our reservoirs in the future. So we need to save water to make sure there's enough for everyone. Here are some ways you can help save water at home. Turn the tap off while you brush your teeth. Take shorter showers. If your toilet has short flush and full flush buttons, use the short one more often. It uses less water. Can you think of other ways to save water? Now, while we're talking about the toilet, did you know there are only three things that should ever be flushed down it? They're the three P's. P, poo and paper. If you try to flush other things like wipes or cotton buds, they could get stuck and block the pipes and the sewers. That can be very messy and very hard to fix. I see someone's ready to wash their hands. Yippee! So, here I am on my way to the wastewater treatment works along with the rest of the wastewater from your house. But... Things are a bit tighter here. It's hard for the water to flow properly. Do you know why that is? It's because people keep putting the wrong things down the toilet and pouring stuff like grease and cooking oil down the sink. Those things clog up the pipes and cause, oh no, a fatberg. Just look at this. Ugh, it's horrible, isn't it? 
Yuck! All the fat and grease and wet wipes and nappies and cotton buds clump together and make this massive blockage. And the people from Northern Ireland Water have to come and unblock it so the water can flow properly again. Ugh, would you like to have to do that? No, me neither. That's why it's so important you only put dirty water down the sink. Just remember, stop and think, not down the sink. Phew, now I'm past that horrible fatberg, I can move freely. And it's time to go to the waste water treatment works, where all of us droplets are cleaned again to get rid of any germs and bugs. Here I go. Ah, lovely and fresh and clean again. Ready to continue the journey and go back out into the rivers and the sea. Here I am back in the sea and I'm all fresh and clean. But oh no, the sea isn't. Just look at all this rubbish in here with me. So much stuff the people dump finds its way here to the sea. Did you know that? And do you know what most of it is? Plastic. There's tons and tons and tons of it. Especially plastic bottles. In fact, scientists say if people don't stop, within 30 years there'll be more plastic in the sea than fish. Just imagine that. Here in Northern Ireland, over 80% of all the litter on our beaches is, yes, plastic. And all that pollution is terrible for wildlife. I got my wing tangled up in a plastic bag. It was very scary. Pollution in the water poisons us. Single-use plastic bottles are a big problem too. We wish everyone had reusable bottles instead. Then they could drink lots of water, but we wouldn't have so many bottles causing problems in the sea. So please, never dump plastic. Always put it in the recycling bin. Look, the sun's coming out. It must be time for evaporation. That's when the hot sun turns some of the water into vapour. And it rises up, up, up into the sky. When the vapour cools down again, it huddles together to make, yes, you've guessed it, a Clyde. So I'm back where I started with all my friends. That was fun. It's time for me to go now, but I'll see you again soon because the water cycle just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And on.